Today I want to encourage you all to kind of do some homework. And by that I mean that the city recently completed a housing needs assessment in partnership with Wichita State University and our housing committee. And what I'm going to do today is provide a very, very brief synopsis of that assessment and encourage you to go on our website and read it if you want more information on its findings and what can be done to facilitate more housing in El Dorado. So the report, which was again facilitated uh, in part by Wichita State, and we also had a committee of interested stakeholders provide input uh, in, in developing the report. And really what it did was it identified a couple of things uh, to help us facilitate housing in our community. The first is it identified barriers to constructing new housing within our community. And it looked at, uh, do we need have a demand for housing within our community? Spoiler alert, it actually identified the fact that El Dorado does need additional housing starts within our community. So after identifying that, again, it looked at some barriers or what's holding us back from developing new housing and identified those items and maybe what could be done to address those. It also looked at what the city's role should be in facilitating uh, new housing and working with the community to get new housing starts within our community. And so if you're interested in any of those things, I would encourage you again to go to our website and download a copy of the report and peruse that. It's got a lot of great information and it'll go more in depth in, in a lot of those findings and barriers uh, and also talk about uh, some other statistics that are very interesting from a housing standpoint. So that's available on our website. In addition to that, uh, a few years ago, the state completed a statewide housing assessment, and we're gonna make that available on our website as well. And what that does is that identifies uh, state strategies and goals, as well as strategies and goals that local governments throughout the state can do to facilitate uh, housing within uh, their communities. The state did that effort a few years ago because it recognized the need for additional housing uh, throughout the state and it wanted to figure out you know, what, what housing should we, we, should we be looking at and what are some ways that we can facilitate housing within the state of Kansas. So if we look at these two documents in combination, it provides really a footprint or a game plan for how El Dorado can facilitate more housing uh, within our community. We're gonna make both of those documents available to the community for review, and hopefully that will stir some conversation and some dialogue, and maybe even some different ideas that are not contained in those two, those two resources to help facilitate additional housing within El Dorado and our immediate area. So again, I would encourage you to go to our website and check those out, and we also have a more in-depth video. If you are so inclined, you can kind of watch that and get an idea of what's contained in the documents uh, that's the big thing we've got going on in El Dorado right now. Um, have a great week, and we'll see you next time.